It's no secret, I like cheap products that work. So today we are trying every single car wash product from Dollar Tree on this motorcycle right here. Now, everything back in the day at Dollar Tree was, you guessed it, a dollar. <laughs> but because Dollar Tree decided to raise their prices, all these products you see here now are $1.25. Now my local Dollar Tree, as you can tell, has a pretty impressive lineup of automotive products. I will say, I have used some of these before, <laughs> so this is going to be a little cheating because I know which ones do a good job and which ones don't. But every single product here was $1.25. I didn't spend more than that on any single product. We also got some paint brushes from the hardware section and some duct tape, so that way we can use those as modified detailing brushes. And when I say from Dollar Tree, I do not mean they are Dollar Tree brand. I mean they are from the store Dollar Tree. Just wanted to clear that up for legal reasons. So we got our brushes and the duct tape that we're going to use to wrap the metal so it doesn't scratch. Wheel brush, microfiber mitten. This brush is going to be for the tires to scrub. Drying towels. We got degreasers, got some wipes for tough spots so we can really get in there. Furniture polish, some people actually use for the tires. So if our tires shine or gloss doesn't work, we're going to be using that. We got some leather care. We got some spray wax. Only one they had, they didn't have a driver's choice or LA's awesome brand. We're going to first use the ultra gel wash and wax from driver's choice, which is the Dollar Tree main soap. If that doesn't work, then we're going to use the Armor All all purpose car wash. And if that doesn't work, then we're just gonna use dish soap. We also got some of the LA's Totally Awesome Degreaser. I actually use this stuff a lot and I freaking love it. And again, $1.25 for this thing. Then we got some glass cleaner and the vinyl protectant is just a dressing. So we got some oil and tire cleaner. Gonna see how that works. Carpet and upholstery cleaner, tire shine and gloss, and then some of their old tire shine. This stuff I have never liked. It just doesn't work well, but I haven't tried this yet. So we're gonna try this and we got us two buckets. The only thing we couldn't get at Dollar Tree was a water hose. We've got two different products we're gonna be using for the wheels today. The first one is this LA Totally Awesome Wheel and Tire Cleaner. And then this is the LA Totally Awesome Concentrated Cleaner. Now, if you've seen some of my lawnmower videos, this is pretty much the only stuff I use on lawnmower tires because this does a great job at getting dirt, grime, grease, and stuff like that off. I'm interested to see how well this is going to work. This says it's safe for all wheel types. This, you gotta kinda be careful because it can damage painted surfaces. So of course, as with everything, test on an inconspicuous area before using it on your motorcycle. But this one's gonna be the front tire and this one's gonna be the rear tire. In our water bucket, we have a little bit of dish soap with the water to help clean some of that dirt and grime off. Man, so that wheel looks really good. <laughs> That's gonna be really hard to beat by the opposition. That other wheel and tire cleaner hasn't done much, but we are gonna scrub it and give it a chance like the other one. I was pretty excited for this wheel and tire cleaner, but it wheelie let me down. There's still all that dirt is embedded into that tire. See, that's after scrubbing. As far as the wheels are concerned, this wheel and tire cleaner is a bust. So as you can see, these wheels look brand new. And remember, it was the LA's totally awesome that really made the difference on these. So like I said, we got our paint brushes and our duct tape. What we're going to do is we're just going to wrap the metal of the paint brushes with duct tape. So it won't cause scratches on the motorcycle. 
And again, this is just a cheap way to get a detailing brush. So we got the Driver's Choice Ultra Gel Wash and Wax. So this is the soap we're going to be using. Just a nice little pour. It says pour two to four ounces into a bucket to mix with clean water. So this is 20 ounces. So, you know, a tenth to a fifth of it per bucket. That should be good. So, if there's somewhere you can't reach with your mitt, paintbrush. The paintbrush is also perfect for your handlebars and near the brake levers. The soap has seemed to have done a good job. All soaps are designed to do is to break the surface tension of water. Water really likes to stick to itself and a soap allows it to break apart and get into those cracks and crevices to get the dirt out. And this soap has seemed to have done fine. It's not the best I've used, but it's done its job. <clears throat> Next, we're going to apply some degreaser to some pretty greasy areas and see if we can get those with the paintbrush. And this grease buildup we got right here is pretty greasy. So it's doing a pretty good job of getting the grease off. Using that brush and that LA is totally awesome. Did a phenomenal job right here and right there. Plus it looks great on the other side. So we're going to use the microfibers. Spoiler alert, they suck. They actually have this auto detailing microfiber that feels pretty luscious. It's better than the other ones, but the problem is it doesn't want to absorb any water. It's like I'm trying to mop up a spilled drink with confetti. It's almost as absorbent as a brick wall. I'm pretty sure a submarine on a screen door would be more useful. Don't waste your time. This is our can of foaming tire shine. So we're just going to apply this to half of this wheel. And then the other half of the wheel, we're going to use this. And then the other tire, we're going to use this, which this is what they currently carry, as far as I know. Like I said, I've used this one before a lot. I used to love this. I actually have three or four of these in the shop just because how good of a product this is. While we're letting those do their magic, we're going to apply the spray wax to the painted areas like the tank and the fairings. I will say this armor spray wax does a fairly good job. I'd consider keeping this. And with these products, you will get better results doing this in the shade. This is just what we have to work with here, so. <laughs> I'm not impressed at all with the foaming tire shine, but both of these have actually done a pretty decent job. I wouldn't say they're on like a black magic level of tire shine, but for the product and the price, it's doing a good job. If you're ever gonna tire shine your motorcycle, be sure not to key it on the tread. Now we're gonna use the carpet and upholstery cleaner for the seat. It does say it's safe for vinyl. So we actually got quite a bit of dirt on the microfiber. And I will say the seat does look pretty good. So as far as the carpet and upholstery cleaner, Man, I'm gonna keep it. I went over all the vinyl and plastics with some protect all protectant. This one's not bad, it's just a dressing, but I did have to go over the whole thing with a very, very, very lightly damped cloth to get all the high spots out. But it didn't do the best job and it wasn't the easiest to apply, so I might look for another vinyl protectant elsewhere. And last thing, glass cleaner. 
The glass cleaner does do an adequate job. I think a lot of that streaks we got in there was from the microfibers. And there she is, our gold covered turd. In conclusion, the tire shine worked great. Stay away from the foaming variety. The wheel and tire cleaner made me pretty tired trying to clean the wheels and tires with it. Use the LA Totally Awesome degreaser, way better. The carpet and upholstery cleaner worked awesome on the seat. I love it. Save your money with the Protect All Protectant. Get a better vinyl protectant somewhere else that's easier to apply and remove. The Ulster Gel wash and wax was soap. That's all I can say about that. The brushes worked awesome. I use those pretty regularly. The microfibers were terrible, and the glass cleaner was glass cleaner. Thanks for watching.